Good morning, this is Julian with United Country Lifestyle Properties Maine. Today, we're here on the famous Detroit Road in Troy, Maine on a beautiful 97 acre lot. We've got right in front of us about five to seven acres of pure field, followed by around 90 acres of surveyed woods. The whole lot's been surveyed. A couple of things I wanna point out real quick before we head out and check out the field. This adjacent driveway is your neighbor's, it's not your property. So just wanna make sure that's that's a, a super transparent up front. The property line pretty much starts right here next to this driveway and comes back over to this edge of that tree line you can see and goes back is what we call flag lot, thin and then fat at the end. But let's walk into this, this field, take it. It's beautiful, ready to be built on today, follow me. Knox and I are roaming out to the rear of the property and our sellers live out of town, but uh, their neighbor's been nice enough to mow this little ring around the outside. And so this is the big old field. It's about five to seven acres. Again, that house is not part of the property. That's your, your neighbor's spot. But you can see this great portion of buildable field ready to rock and roll. Um, and as we head back, we can start to see that it slopes and so right about the property line where the neighbor's house is built would be the suggested location to build a property. You wouldn't really wanna to build too much farther down this slope just because of potential wetlands, potential floods. This year, Maine has seen a ton of rain. Uh, and so it's not something that you'd wanna risk when building, building your perfect home here on this beautiful field. But let's keep on walking down, we've got tons of woods about 90 acres of woods we'll walk through some of it today and i don't know if you can see but right here is an apple tree so i'm about to go pick one and uh, we'll see about how ripe it is here we are at the base of one of your two apple trees the other apple tree is towards the front of the property and i just want to show you the condition of these guys is actually pretty good for an apple tree that hasn't been maintained for quite some time uh these are, look these are pretty good this is one of knox's favorite foods so he and I are about to have a quick snack. Knox and I are now uh, at, the at the bottom of the field, about seven acres or so. And you can see that it does slope down. So in terms of what is and what is not buildable, again, about that location of where your neighbor's property is, is a perfect spot to build. It's gonna give you enough elevation to not be worried about floods or anything. Here we've got an old rock wall that's just separating the field from the thickness of that woods. And then right here in front of me is a right of way path that both you and your neighbor share to access the rear of the property, the beautiful woods. So we're gonna walk down this path that you, again, you share with your neighbor to the rear of the property, which is main conservation land. So that means that the rear of your property, that outline or the borderline between your property and the main conservation land will always stay the same. That'll never be developed. So let's head on down through this path and take a peek. Further down this right-of-way path that you share with your neighbor, this is all your property that you see ahead of me. And we're kind of in this little bit of a brush clearing. Phenomenal variety of different trees. And we've got these beautiful fall colors starting to come in. I wanted to show you this interior of the property. Again, fantastic variety of different trees. And let's continue to venture down this path. Knox and I just hit the end of this right of way. Anything past this direction of the path is your neighbor's lot here to my left. But here to my right is all you. And honestly, we are about a quarter of the way in. So if that, uh, if that. So let's continue to venture. It looks like there's a mini path right here in, in front of me and we'll see where this leads. Knox and I are now in right about halfway through the lot very wooded. I'm seeing a whole lot of maple trees actually. So you could potentially come back here and have your own mini maple farm for your own family. Build a lot up on the field, come back, collect maple syrup every year. It'd be pretty fun. But now let's venture on towards this rear of the property. And next time you see me, we will be right on the borderline between your lot and the main conservation land. See you in a second. When examining the soil maps, we can see that the property has farm class soil 
all through the front field into the tree line and other locations deeper in the tree line if this is something that you would be interested in having. All right, Knox and I have roamed now to the rear of the property. Right about here is the borderline between your lot and main conservation land. Very thick, phenomenal variety of different trees. Um, this is a good hunting spot as well. I'm not seeing any immediate trees that could hold a tree stand, but rest assured there are plenty throughout this lot. So venture back with me. Let's take a peek at that second apple tree back up at the field. And then we will head over and look at Unity Pond, 2,500 acres of fresh water. Now, this is your neighbor's tree stand, but I did want to point it out on our way back up towards the field. It's just off of this right-of-way path that you guys share. So, obviously, the hunting is pretty ripe here. The other thing I wanted to point out is that even though there is abundance of deer on these 97 acres... I have yet to find a single deer tick. Now, I've got plenty of mud splatters all around, but not a single tick. And I looked on Knox as well, and I haven't seen one on him either. So that's just an extra bonus peace of mind. And uh, ticks are just kind of annoying. So let's head on up to the field, take a peek at that final apple tree, and then swing on over to Unity Pond. We're here at your second apple tree. And this one is not as ripe as the other pro the other tree, rather. But with a little bit of maintenance, I think you could make something out of this. Let's head over to the vehicles, hop in, and swing on over to Unity Pond. See you there in a second. Knox and I have made it out to a Unity Pond. This is a pond that is over 2,500 acres. It is giant, and we've got these beautiful fall colors coming in. This access point, the public boat launch, is just through town, just through the town of Unity. It's just under about 20 minutes away from your property. And then we've also got a couple of trails back here that would be prime for dog walking and whatnot. And here is your public boat launch. Also, the fishing in this pond is spectacular. The bass fishing here is absolutely ridiculous. I highly recommend that you swing on through and test it out for yourself. This has been Julian with United Country Lifestyle Properties of Maine. A couple of things that I really enjoy about Troy, Maine is you have all the ruralness of being in a small town with only a thousand people, but then simultaneously you're 40 minutes from Belfast where you've got access to the water, Penobscot Bay, 40 minutes from Bangor, you have an international airport, 50 minutes from Maine's capital in Augusta. It's a fantastic location to couple both of the rural and the near to shopping city, anything you may need. The price on this lot is $100,000. The yearly taxes are just under $1,000 every year. So make sure to subscribe, turn the post notifications on. This has been Julian with United Country Lifestyle Properties in Maine. Thank you.